Hi, welcome to Finger Fluid Art, and I'm Colleen, Finger Fluid Artist. Thank you for watching, and today we were supposed to be doing a background for a large flower that I wanted to do using Finger Fluid Art. But after doing the background, I liked it so much, I decided to keep it and not do the flower on it. So I will be doing the background next time and and putting a flower on a wet background. So today I am presenting the background that I did do. God bless you and stay tuned. So first of all, we're gonna do the background. We're gonna do a similar background like this. Um, it's like a daylight background, okay? So we're gonna begin with the sky. And this time, what we're going to do is Let's create a smooth background, a gradient background using blues and whites. We're going to focus on getting the paint on the canvas. Okay? Now, we're going to begin with the blues for the sky. Okay, we're just going to pour some blue, a little blue, actually, I'm not going to pour it, I'm going to take it out, some blue, this is blue from Lucas, it's called Ultramarine, and I'm going to put some light in with that. Okay, here's the one. Okay, we're gonna use some white for the sky and some blue. I'm also gonna use some of this blue. Combination blue. So we're going to use some of this blue as well, okay? So we're going to do a gradient sky using these colors. We're going to put, put it on thick. Let me pour some on it. It's not really pouring. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to get a lot of dark colors. The darker to the top and the lighter to the bottom. If you notice your skyline, that's how it looks. It's darker as you go to the top, the higher in the sky, and as you get closer to the, to the horizon, it's, it's a little lighter. Okay, so let me get a good amount of paint onto the canvas. And in the beginning, that's what you're trying to do. Just get the paint and cover the canvas. Okay? So let's get some more white here. And we're just going to blend it, this particular background. Because the flower is going to go like... It's going to fill the whole canvas. So I'm going to put the dark colors at the top, and I am using a brush. I can use my hand, but I don't feel like it. And I really want this to blend. So I am going to blend, use the brush to blend it really well. Okay? And I want it dark at the top. And then mix in. Mixing and blending as we go down. 
Don't forget your sides. Okay. So we're mixing and blending as we go. And we're going to be coming darker on the top and lighter as we go to the bottom. Let's get some light to make it lighter. Okay, now this background is going to be a sky and some mountains, just like the flower. It's just going to be slightly different, but basically the same. Okay? Okay, so... on the canvas itself. Um, okay, so let me see how this would make. No. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep with this blue, with that green. Again, if you mix, if you put a lot of blue with your green, it looks as though the paint, the the um the mountains are far away blue creates distance and we're just going to blend i'm not going to do anything exact we're just kind of creating a idea of a mountain in the background okay this is the background for the flower and most of it will be covered over Okay, we're not creating a scenery, we're creating a background for the foreground. Um, because um, it can be faded, the background, it doesn't have to be as vibrant as the foreground, and that's fine. Okay, so this is the far away mountain. Okay, so I'm out here in the park enjoying a beautiful day. It rained like crazy today and I love the rain. And so I was out here just waiting for the rain to, to stop because it poured really hard and I just sat enjoying it because that's what you do. Enjoy whatever God, God gives you to enjoy for each day, being thankful for what he blesses you with. You know, some people say, oh, it's raining, it's horrible. That's not what I say. I say, oh, it's raining, let's go. Let me go sit and enjoy the rain while I can, while it's still falling. Yeah. Okay, so I just um, made some further away mountains. I lightened it up a bit. The further the mountains are, the more they begin to fade and lighten. So I just made some lighter 
some lighter mountains and you could just create whatever kind of mountain you want in the background um, okay okay so all right so we're doing the foreground now i mean not the foreground but closer we're doing we're still blending the background we're gonna put some more green and i think a little yellow and i think i'm gonna put add some golds in with this green just to give it an idea of sunshine sun shining on the grass i just came up with that and you, you come up with things all the time you know you just add it in a little darker gold for contrast okay and that's fine that's that's just fine creating new things making things up as you go Finger fluid art is very fluid, and you are allowed to do that. You're allowed to make up whatever you want as you go. That's fine. Right now, we're still just covering the canvas, making sure there's paints on every inch. And where it bleeds through, that's fine. This is not an exact science. And you're allowed to just create whatever you want to create. You know, just create something here and there. Okay, it'll still look good. It will, it will still be beautiful. Okay? So I'm going to finish up this here with some more green. Some more green. And some some more, a little more gold. Mostly green. And I'm I think I'm gonna do something I was didn't plan on doing. Um I'm gonna wait till I, I put some more color on this canvas. I'm gonna Make sure I cover the canvas first, completely. Okay. All right. Okay, so remember to do this here. Do, do your edges. And just for fun, I wasn't going to do it, but just for fun, I'm going to, I held her, I see something here that needs a little touching up. Right. Just for fun, I'm going to do something. I'm going to add some glitter to the grass. Oops. I was trying to put glitter on the other things before, the other paintings I was doing. But it didn't work so well. So I got these, this glitter, which I can just add wherever I feel like adding it. And it seems to work a little better. Okay. So I'm going to use the brush to direct it where I want it to go. Again. Always make sure you have enough paint on your sides. Yeah. OK, 
Okay. Just touching up the sides here. And this here now, I'm just gonna direct it a little bit. So it's not just one place. Yeah. I'm actually trying to blend it in more. Uh, may or may not work, but at least I tried. Okay, so I just wanted to put some glitter here and there. All right. So that's it for my background. I'm going to just let that dry. Um, actually, I wasn't going to let it dry. I'm just going to put the flower right on top of it as it's wet. But I changed my mind. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry for today. And I'm thinking of leaving this. It looks so pretty. I was going to put a big flower on it. But I think this is going to be it. Um, I'm done. So... This ended up to be a scenery, so I'm going to do the flower another day, okay? Until next time, I'm Finger Fluid Artist Colleen Elizabeth. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Bye-bye.